David, gotta go! Whatever, son! The story of the 2020 Florida Gators is still being written, but the first chapter is in the books. Kyle Trask and the Gators had a record day versus Ole Miss. 51 points and 642 yards of offense, the most ever against an SEC opponent. He did a great job of just knowing the plan, knowing what we wanted to get to. He made a couple checks that created explosive plays that we worked on in practice. So it was good to see him go out and play at a really high level. Second seven for Trask. To the end zone, he goes and into the hands of Tony. Touchdown, Gators. You know, the, the long touchdown down the middle of Kyle Pitts, uh, I think it was the first drive of the second half. He saw the look that we wanted. He knew we were getting boundary pressure. Um, you know, we practiced that look all week. He executed, uh, made the check, changed the protection to get the protection set, and then executed the pass. Uh, you know, to me, that was, uh, was a great quarterback in play. Trask downfield, and with that, here is Pitts. Run, young man, run. Touchdown, Gators. Kyle Trask wasn't the only one putting up numbers. Kyle Pitts had a career day as well, tallying eight catches for 170 yards and four touchdowns. You know, Kyle and I have talked a lot about his goals and the expectations that we both have for him as a player, and, and, and he has a thing. He's chasing greatness. He is chasing greatness, and he has the ability with his work ethic to be a great football player. To the end zone, did he hold on? Yes! Touchdown, Kyle Pitts. You know, Kyle Pitts is an extremely engaged player, you know, and he's so much fun for me to coach. And I know, you know, he's a great teammate. His teammates look up to him. His teammates really like him. It's going to be a catch. Yes, touchdown, Kyle Pitts. Oh, my, what a catch by Pitts. Hey, that man a freak. Freaking nature. <laughs> there were freaks on the other side of the ball as well like SEC Defensive Player of the Week, Ventrell Miller. For him to go out there and to make the plays that he did, he did, he did that all week long in practice. Corral trying to spin free and unable to do so. Ventrell Miller with the sack. Just to see him go do that and execute, that, that kind of sums up what I hope a guy going through our system would do, to be in a position to make a play, to see what's about to happen and then go actually do that. That's, that is the goal, that is the dream as a coach. With the snap and driven back. Mr. Miller says, I will be the brick wall right now, my friend. Uh, helping each player become who they are meant to be. That, that's what's exciting about what Ventrell did on Saturday. With the page turned on that win, the Gators return home to the swamp. Preparations begin for a division foe coming to town. Let's go, baby. It's going to be a great day. Great day. Let's go, Rick. Let's go, Rick. Here we go, Shorter. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have a great day, man. Let's have a great day. Who is that? Ghana. Who? Ghana. Oh, Ghana. He's a hot rapper, huh? Where are you from? East Coast, West Coast. He's he from Atlanta. Atlanta? Ah. In hot Atlanta. Yep. Hot Atlanta. If the Gators are going to join Gunner in Atlanta this December, they know moments like that are earned here on the practice field. Good day today, baby. Good day today. Good day today. Good day today. Good day today now. Fly around. Fly around. Bro, why you always look sad, bro? <laughs> for real, for real, bro. Bro, smile, bro. <laughs> Smiles are earned, earned from hours of work, pain, and dedication to the smallest detail. Right there off the hip, boom, right there, hit it. There you go, quarterback. There we go, quarterback, good run. Good run, good run. Right there, good, good. There we go, quarterback. There we go, quarterback. Hold it. Get away, get away. Come on 
Yeah, there it is. Good. Good foot, Malik. Good plant, Malik. Okay, I do it just to show that a, a man my age can do this damn drill. Here we go. Sit. Hit. Right there. All I gotta do is rotate out with him, son. Come on now. Come on. Come on, get, get out of it. There it is. Good. Good. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Good. 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 Become great round runner. Become great round runner. Here we go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Square up on it. Look at it. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of it. I'm here. I'm here. Get off a block, make a play. No pad, dial in hand. Come on, dive! Dive! Get out of it! There we go, good, good. Again, we're getting, we're building up for the week. Everything we do, very detailed on it. All right, we're gearing up for the game. Okay, call it up, let's get off the field. Take care of your bodies. All right, take care of your bodies. All right, 8.15 tomorrow morning. All right. RB on three, RB on me. One, two, three. RB. I thought the life, I thought we had a little bit more energy today. We threw a lot at you, and for the most part, I thought we executed pretty good. Everybody understand, you guys need to study. That's why you have an iPad. You guys need to study. You old heads too. That's why you have an iPad. Everybody understand? D block on three. One, two, three. D block. Game day mornings may be ruckus around Gainesville, but they are quiet here in the team hotel. Hey, the Red Zone, where you been, man? Where you been? Until the human alarm clock, Nick Savage sees you turn in the corner at least. No matter the city, hotel, or game, each Saturday starts the same for the Gators. Team walk, as it's called, is simply that, a walk around the parking lot. A time to wake up, let the blood start flowing, and the mind clear. In its place comes thoughts of what each game brings. Each team is its own entity. A hundred plus years of Gator football, all working to make the other proud. And each game brings a chance to do just that. Another chance to set the Gator standard. And as Nick Savage reminds them, the honor to protect your house. Family great morning. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Ain't no better feeling in the world than waking up and going to defend your house. All week the message has been pretty clear. Protect your health! The best thing that makes it real is you! It's you! Because the real competition's here. The real competition's here. It's in your blood, it's in your veins. A group of men making their mind up what they want to be. Because here's a big choice you got to make today. Here's a big choice, one simple question. What are you willing to do to protect something you love? What are you willing to do? What are you gonna lay on the line? Your legacy, this team, this program, your brothers, all the work you put in. You walk on that field, you look around this room. You go on that field, why would you ever not be your best? As this thing goes, you think about that one question. What are you willing to do to protect something you love? Chapter two is now on you. Today we are live from Ben Hill Griffin Stadium at Steve Spurrier Florida Field as the third ranked Florida Gators meet the South Carolina Gamecocks. Hello again, everybody. I'm Mick Hubert, welcoming you to another exciting Saturday of Florida Gators football. Hey, Madden, this is what we work for. The opportunities to come here and play out here in the swamp, okay? 
come out here and play to that Gator standard every single snap while we're out here in the swamp. Every play, okay? Everyone's mind's focused on this. The 11 guys on the field going as hard as they can every single snap, okay? Maximum effort, maximum strain every single snap. Enjoy the moment. You only get so many of these in life. You only get so many of these this season. With this team, enjoy that moment. Go out there and play as hard as we can today. Play as hard as we can. Go get ourselves a big time win. That's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. After an opening strike by the Gamecocks, the Gators offense must quickly answer. Keep detailing what we do, protect the ball. Keep detailing what we do, protect the ball. They hand it off this time to Pierce. Still on his feet. Hats popping down in the field. And Pierce has got some pop. Wow. Trash gets rid of it quickly on the edge, complete. And a first down. Grimes with a nice run after the catch. It's in motion. And it off and for room service for Damian Pierce. Touchdown, Gators. Untouched. Under pressure, looks to throw and fires, and good catch made by Pitts across the 50, inside the Gamecock 45, and down to the Carolina 42-yard line. Dropping back, stepping up, rolling right, still wanting to throw, fires it down the field, oh! Stepping back, looking to throw it back to the left side. He's got Pitts, and Pitts waltzes in. Touchdown, Gators! Oh, my! It's 13-7. to seven. The cow-to-cow -cow fad sweeping the nation continues to sweep through the first half. He's the intended target. Broke it up in the end zone nicely by Sean Davis. Boy, he's really made his impact felt here. And the defense begins to set the tone, led by Sean Davis and Kyrie Eaton. Jr. with a sack. He was joined by Carter. It's the inside receiver, the top of your screen. Trash looks the other way. Down the scene, complete. First and 10 from the 19 yard line. And a nice catch made by Xavier Henderson. True freshman out of Miami. Trash on the slant. Touchdown again, Pitts. Peanut butter and jelly one more time. As the Gators go to halftime with the lead, the defensive performance has left something to be desired. Christian Robinson makes sure his guys know that. All right, now here's the deal. We got to come out with some juice. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but we need to thump somebody. Y'all tell me, y'all said y'all wanted to play. Everybody remember that? Everybody wanted to play. Run down there with some juice and hit somebody and get juiced up and celebrate with each other and get back the ball, do it again. Somebody's got to have some life. Everybody understand that? Offense, execute down the field. Execute, execute, execute. We don't need, right? We're making plays. Execute, execute, execute. Defense, 11 guys running the ball as hard as we can, okay? The strain to finish to make plays. The strain to finish to make plays. Not 50, 60, 70, 80% of the time. 100% of the time. All 11 guys doing your job, technique, assignment. Strain to finish and get to the ball, make plays. Yeah, you don't need a rah-rah speech. You know what we need to do? Okay, go play to our standard in the second half every snap. Everybody got me? Yeah, Let's go Gators on three. One, two, three. Gators. With 30 minutes of football left to be played, both sides of the ball know what it takes to get a win. Hey, when he motions, he motions. He takes the cut with him. 
for the defense is following the mantra laid down on day one. Play fast, physical, and aggressive. Fenwick in the backfield, the toss, he put it on the ground. Fumble looked like he may have gotten it back, but maybe not. The Gators say they have it, and it's Florida football. After a huge turnover by the defense, Kyle Trask was ready to keep the offense rolling. There's the snap to Trask, on a play action. Trask throws the ball to the end zone, and it's going to be caught for a touchdown. Trent Whittemore in the back line of the end zone. Touchdown, Gators! Gators 31, Carolina 14. Third down and eight for the Gamecocks. There's a snap to Colin Hill under pressure. With the game nearly put away, it was time for the exclamation point by the Gators' most explosive playmaker. Here's Trask, dropping back, goes over the middle, he's got Tony at the 45. Tony at the 40, Tony at the 30, Tony at the 45, and the 20 breaks the tackle, and he's gone! You tell him. No, you tell him. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Come on, man. It's the 31st consecutive home opening victory for the Florida Gators. We're taking this moment all because I'm telling you what's going on. Hey, great win. 2 0 in the SEC. Obviously, there's a lot of things I think we everybody knows we're going to continue to get better. I think there's things we got much better on this week than last week. We got to continue to do the same moving forward. Yeah, we got to continue to do the same moving forward, okay? But I'm going to tell you what, you're 2-0 in the SEC. Okay, got a tough one next week going to Texas A&M, okay? Got to come out. We have got to have a better week of practice this week than we did last week. Nothing we do can be casual.